Blue Jays smoke keeping the faith. Toronto, with the two-year, $8.5 million U.S. contract extension he signed last summer, Justin Smoke can buy a lot stuff. But one thing the Blue Jays' first baseman is not buying, or buying into, is the thought that the Jays are a team on a downward trajectory and will not be real contenders again in the AL East for at least two three years. The Jays were sellers, not buyers, at the July 31st non-waiver trade deadline, getting rid of a couple of veteran pitchers in exchange for prospects, while their divisional rivals, the New York Yankees and Boston Red Sox, added solid veterans for their playoff push. The Jays are also an aging team with a lot of their older players having down years, such as Jose Bautista and Troy Ulowitzki. There's a feeling that Toronto has become really old, really fast and given that, and what they don't have in the high minors, there is very little optimism that the 2018 season will amount to anything, despite the recent warm and fuzzy words by GM Ross Atkins. The Yankees and Red Sox, meanwhile, have some great young talent on their respective rosters. But Smoke, by far the best positional player on the Jays roster this season, doesn't see it that way. We have the same team we've had here the last two three years. It's just a matter of trying to put it all together, he said. We did it the last two years, made the playoffs and we just haven't really got it going yet. We haven't really had that stretch where we've just taken off. Yeah, the season's winding down but we still have two months and we still have that opportunity. Smoke was asked that, if he genuinely feels the Jays still have that opportunity, was he not disappointed that the front office did nothing to bolster the lineup for a possible wild card push? Prior to Tuesday night's games, the Jays were five games out of the last wild card spot, with six teams to leapfrog over. A tall order. Not really he said. Not at this point. If we go out there, this spring, and win games, probably the trade deadline's different. We weren't really in the position to probably do more, at the deadline, you know what I mean? It's on us, the players, really. We go out there and win games and maybe if we're in first or second place we go out there and we make one of those deals. But honestly, I feel like we still have a great team, Smoke continued. We've got a good lineup. It would be nice to get some, injured, guys back. But it's just kind of as what it is. Smoke is not the type to get too excited about anything, on the field or off it. But he did do a double take when asked about the aging theory, that the Jays have just gotten old fast and have reached the point of no return barring a major rebuild. That's not the case, he said. But East is the oldest guy on this team, 36, and he's probably in the best shape of anybody on this team, know what I mean? It's like one of those things, it is what it is. But, like I said earlier, it's on us. It's not on, management. It's just a matter of getting the job done. Smoke insists there are reasons to believe this present lineup, or close to it, can get the job done in 2018. The team has an estimated $60 million that will come off the books after this season. There's always optimism, he said. We got a good team. We got guys that are returning next season that are really good players. We got really good guys coming back, Devin Travis and Aaron Sanchez. Missing Sanchez was huge. He came into spring training in better shape than his entire life, ready to throw 200 plus innings. And it's just one of those freak things again. So I think we just got to keep going. 1 through 9 I feel like we're pretty good. Position player wise, Smoke added. Staff wise, I mean, you got Marcus, Stroman, Sangchi, J.A. Happ coming back, you don't know with Marco, Estrada, yet, if he's coming back. But that's at least three top tier guys. 
but it is reaching the point where every series, particularly those against Al East rivals like the three-game series against the Yankees at the Rogers Center this week, is crucial. Being swept by the Yanks will almost certainly spell the death knell for the Jays in terms of having a chance to get a wild card, though Smoke isn't ready to go quite that far. Nah, he said. I just feel like every series you want to go in to win it. That's the goal. Will we be upset if we don't win two out of three, against New York this week? Yeah we'd be upset. So we definitely want the series and keep the faith.